guys, it's Ariel here from Fix My Books, and today we will be talking about the Canadian Dental Care Plan. So this actually is brand new for 2024. This is the first time anyone will be filing this, right? So this is for the 2023 T4s, okay, for that tax year. But again, as you guys know, we filed the T4s the year after, right? We have to finish the year. So the T4s for 2023 are due this Feb 28th, 2024. And this will be the first time any T4 will have this box. So what is the Canadian Dental Care Plan and how does this affect your reporting requirements with your T4? So basically, the Canadian Dental Care Plan provides dental coverage for uninsured Canadians with annual family incomes of less than $90,000. It started with coverage for children less than 12 years old and it affects box 45 on the T4 slip and affects code 15 on the T4A slip, okay? So right now, the focus of this video will be box 45 on the T4 slip. We will not be covering code 15 on the T4A slip for the Canadian Dental Care Plan. So basically, what the CRA is looking for is who is uninsured, meaning who is not covered or does not have dental coverage through their employer. So that's why it's now up to the employer, although this is, you know, again, an administrative burden on the employer. It is now up to the employer to report this to the CRA. And I'm going to show you how to do that with the T4s in QuickBooks Online. Okay, so let's get started. So this is the CRA website. As you guys can see, I'm just going to scroll down to box 45. As you can see, employer offered dental benefits, slips filed for the calendar year 2023 and after. So again, this is the first time anyone is filing this. It is mandatory to indicate whether the employee or any of their family members were eligible on December 31 of that year to access to any dental care insurance or coverage of dental services of any kind that you offered. So this is not if they took, you know, or, or they decided to opt in to the group dental benefits plan. This is where they offered. If they were offered and they decided not to opt in, then that still counts, okay? And another question with this is, if you have an HSA or a health spending account, okay, it's not necessarily a benefit, a group benefits plan. It's a different type of medical insurance. If you have an HSA, will you still fall under one of these codes basically, right? And the answer is yes. So if you have an HSA, even if you don't have a formal benefits plan like group insurance plan then yes you will still be part of um any of these codes two to five because you do have access again it's not if you took the benefits if you had access to those benefits so i'm going to link uh this down below because this was such a great resource for me to understand more what they were looking for um as well as this video if you guys have time, please watch this webinar. It's so informative. And the question, if you have a health spending account, you know, for employees in lieu of a benefits plan, again, a health spending account is not a benefits plan, then the CRA has confirmed that you still need to use codes 2 to 5. So that answers that question. Again, I will link this all down below so you guys have access to it as well. Okay, so this is your QuickBooks Online account. All you need to do to make sure that you comply with the new CRA reporting requirements is going to payroll employees. Okay, and then with your employees, let's say they are part of a group benefits plan or an HSA, this is how you would 
put that code into box 45 of the T4 using QuickBooks Online. Just click into the employee, scroll down until you hit deductions and contributions, click start. And then you see how it says dental benefit access. You can see that even though this person does not have any deductions and contributions, because they are part of the HSA, they will have um, to have codes 2 to 5 on their T4. So for this um, particular employee, code 3 is needed because the HSA covers their spouse and dependents. So code 3 we'll save that we'll click done and then that's it that's how you will put the code into your t4 in quickbooks online and when we go okay to taxes payroll tax to double check that this was updated in the t4s go to filings and then look at the t4 employer slips just click preview and when you have a preview of the t4 you will see here now box 45 has code 3 in it because we updated it in quickbooks online so that is how you update box 45 in quickbooks online if you guys have any questions please feel free to comment them down below. Hopefully, this video was helpful to you. And once again, this is Ariel from Fix My Books, helping you fix your books. Hey guys, it's Ariel here from Fix My Books. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and helping my YouTube channel grow. If there are any videos you want to see on my channel, please don't hesitate to comment them down below. I always listen to your feedback. And once again, this is Ariel from Fix My Books, helping you fix your books.